welcome back to Matt Smith Magic. How's everyone doing? Hope y'all are doing great. Anyway, so today I have a magic set review video. That's right. I know y'all love to see the magic set review videos. Uh, also, just remember in the comment box, let me know what magic sets are out there and which ones y'all want to see. I try to get to them as quickly as possible. I know there's still some suggestions that I have, but typically I do try to get to them. You know, I'm not perfect. I do have to order them and buy them, you know, and I ain't rich. You know, I want to be rich, but I'm not rich. You know what I mean? All right, anyways, so today I have. Phantasma Magic's uh, magic set, one of their magic sets, okay? Phantasma Magic is a very amazing company. I, I love Phantasma Magic a lot. Uh, this is their Abracamazing. What? That's Abracamazing right there. Because you don't get more amazing than Abracamazing. I mean, that's, that's a cool way to name the magic set, right? This is actually a really cool magic set. I've actually used these props a lot. Actually, believe it or not, and uh, I've used quite a few of these props um, in, uh, in my um, birthday parties and stuff like that that I performed before this crazy pandemic and stuff. I've used, I'll, I'll get into that in a review, but I've used several of these props in here. So I got, I bought this magic set a while back, actually, like a while back for $29.97. That was $30. And for 30 bucks, you can't beat it. You really can't beat the props that you're going to get here. Because I tell you right now, this right here has a temple screen in it. But the temple screen is pretty cool. You're not going to get a temple screen for like, I mean, unless you get it somewhere cheap and kind of beat up maybe. I don't know. Most temple screens are pretty over $30, I think, if I'm not mistaken. A really good one, it's, it's at least in the 20s. Anyways, so $29.97. This is the Abercamazing Magic Set by Phantasma Magic. And it's a really good set. set. And it always... Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button and share the videos, guys. We're still pushing to our marker for the big giveaway. Remember the giveaway I said if I hit this, uh, the subscribe marker on the last video or so? I'm going to be doing some money giveaway, meaning you can pick up to, I think I said like $60 or so, up to a certain amount. Uh, and for the price of any, any magic item that you want to a certain amount, okay? So uh, once we hit that number, the giveaway is going to go down, okay? So don't forget about that. So keep sharing the videos. Keep telling your friends to subscribe to my channel. They don't even have to watch my channel if they don't want to. Just tell them to subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, on with the Magic Set Review. Hey, everyone. What's up? I'm back here with the Abracamazing, the Abracamazing Magic Set. That's right. All right. So for like I said, for $30, you get the Abracamazing Magic Set. It's professional magic. Yet it's easy to do. So this this kit is pretty amazing. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, more advanced. Uh, not so much as well. I guess, I guess it does has advanced stuff in here, but uh, it has more uh, newer type magic that fits into the new age, like the um, like the phone tricks and for tablets and so forth, where you can pluck like a sponge ball off the screen and stuff. It's got more technological tricks and advanced in here. It does have 200 plus tricks inside this magic set. All right, so let's just crack it open and see what's inside. All right, and as I said, this right here is the lid for the temple screen. As I said, uh, this this kit is well worth it for this prop right here, this temple screen. For one, let's take a look at the artwork on here. Most temple screens usually come with like, because it's, uh, it's a temple screen, so it's supposed to be kind of like Asian style. Most uh, temple screen, which I have the actual original temple screen uh, with like the Buddha on the front, stuff like that. That's usually your your Asian, your temple screen, how it's supposed to look. But I love the way Phantasma actually made theirs look. I actually think this is actually way cooler than the, the Buddha picture in the, on the, than on the original temple screen. I think this picture is cooler than the other one, okay? So the eye really sets this apart. I think that's really cool because you can make it like into a mystifying show uh, to, to where it's just, it looks a lot neater, you know? And then it has the question marks. So the, this kit has a very uh, steampunky design to it, which I like a lot with the cog wheels and stuff like that. You can see that. It's very detailed in the artwork. I love how Phantasma did this kit a lot, actually. Um, so temple screens are really, 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 really cool props. Um, they're basically used to like vanish, produce stuff, and so forth. Um, I've done, I've done a, actually just a recent video with a temple screen. So I've used this temple screen actually in a lot of my shows. So the setup is kind of like this right here. The lid kind of goes on top like this right here. 
And now I I use this a lot in my kids shows actually. I use this right as a table, and then I can like do tricks on top of the table, so forth, set props over, have the kid come up, do a SpongeBob routine. It's it's pretty sturdy. Just don't let them see behind it. Like typically, because that'll give away the trick basically and how the trick works. Uh, the lid covers the, the trick in general. I usually use this as an ender because I've done this. Actually, I took this to the fair before the pandemic and stuff like that last year, and. Um, I actually use this prop, and uh, I usually get a lot of good feedback with this prop. I use, like I said, I use this as an ender instead of an opener because I use my table. I use it to hold stuff on top of my table, and then I go for the ender with it and remove all the stuff off from it, and then go for it. Or I hide stuff behind it. So throughout my show, I hide stuff behind this this temple screen because it comes with the lid in this kit. That most temple screens don't come with the lid. This one right here comes with a tabletop lid, so you can turn it into a table too, and then an ender finale. Point is, moving forward, uh, typically uh, what I do is, is uh, temple screens kind of work pretty simple. You show both sides like so, and then you, I usually go for like a Bermuda Triangle type effect where you show like a Bermuda, make it into a triangle, and then oh, like that, or let, let them like, you know, do whatever, show your hands empty, and then you produce a bottle, candy, whatever you want to out of the temple screen, a whole bunch of silks and so forth. I typically produce like uh, bottles and stuff like that or whatever for an ending routine or a whole bunch of silks basically. I've done that a lot, like a whole bunch of silks and then go for a color changing scarf and then show like an ending thank you silk. But the temple screen is well worth it in this magic set. Moving forward, enough on the temple screen, okay? Um, you get the uh, candy appearing box or money, uh, money maker box or so forth. Uh, I've done this uh, trick right here in one of my videos where you show the box uh, completely empty just like this right here. Snap your fingers, you can produce candy, whatever you want to, out of this money, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to, you can load anything you want to in this box. Same thing, it's got the steampunk design to it. I really love this. I love Phantasma's art design on this on this magic set. That's what I really love and makes this one of my favorite magic sets is the artwork, okay? So moving forward, uh, you get Three sponge balls, Goshman sponge balls. These sponge balls are very good, durable. They're very soft. They're not cheaply made. Uh, I kind of messed mine up a little bit right there, as you can see the little spot. Because I've had this magic set for a long time. Sorry, it's uh, well used. Put it that way. Uh, but basically, you get the black sponge ball, the metamorphic uh, sponge ball. So you can do a lot of color changes with this right here. I've done a, like a lighter burn, where you take it like this right here, make a color and change colors or whatever. Burn it. Have the have the black sponge ball appear in the spectator's hands or whatever with a little bit of sleight of hand. You get to learn from the DVDs and videos. Um, you also get the Houdini hundred dollar levitation bill. So you can make your own bill if you don't like this prop right here because it looks kind of fake, you know, gimmicky maybe because like the I mean it's a fake hundred dollar bill. So you can you can actually learn how to this trick works and then make your own prop with it. It's not hard to make it all, I assure you. But basically this is just a simple levitation. Make it float off your hand. You could turn it into a credit card, use a credit card too and make it levitate and show that the spaces and then whoa just floats right back down. This is basically just your classic levitating bill. Um, what else you get? You also get your secret levitation stuff. Your uh, for making things float, cards and so forth. You get wax, little wax balls and stuff like that in there to make things float, money float, whatever. Um, what else is inside? You get the um, the meta was this was this one here called? Cause Phantasm always names their things differently. The Metamorphix deck, okay? This is basically just a Swingali deck. They always name it something fancy or cool. And like I said in my other uh, Phantasm reviews, I don't like Phantasma cards too much because they're kind of they're real. They they scream like gimmicky basically. They scream like oh there's something fishy about them. But you can use them. I mean I've used them on people before and nobody questioned them or whatever. But this is basically just your Swingali deck. That's all it is. Uh, what else you get? You get your Magic Amazing Bubbles. So this is something I don't really see a lot in Magic sets either, along with the Temple Screens. Temple Screens are very rare to see in Magic sets. Uh, very, very rare, actually. Uh, you do get your Amazing Magic Bubbles to where you can just produce a bubble, blow it, or whatever, and it just kind of loads and just... Whew, yes, and then you get your Amazing Period Bubbles to basically turn a bubble into a solid bubble. Also in this kit, you get your TT. Your TT is available. Your your vanishing gimmick to where you can make salt water suspend in midair or silks vanish. You get your amazing TT. Um, what else is in this kit other than the sponge balls? Oh, this right here is a very classic trick that I like. Or 
very classic. Uh, this is a really cool trick that is not in. Actually, I've never seen this in any magic sets. The string on the uh, the string on the ring, basically, or the ring on the string, uh, the shoelace trick. So basically, uh, this is a very very cool trick um, where you take the ring and then you just pass it straight through, just like so, and then uh, you show. Oh, let's make it actually even real fast. Sorry. Um, excuse the horrible demonstration there. So this is the classic uh, the ring on the string where you literally take the ring, you place it on the string just like so, you pass it straight through and then you show that it is on this shoelace just like so and then you can take it just like this right here boop, and then it just melts right off. There's a whole bunch of routines you can do this where you tie the shoelace onto the ring and then a knot and so forth and it just melts right off. Um, also, you get your, your uh, booklet if you like to read. Phantasma does a lot of really good, uh, really good explanation of um, very in-depth um, tutorials and stuff like that and how to do tricks in their books. They teach you quite a different few methods of how to do the trick and so forth. Okay, so you get your booklet and then if you don't like to read, you get your DVD. So if you don't want to read, you get your DVD, which is really cool. Hopefully people still have DVD players now. Now, the magician on here, let's talk about this actually. So Magic Belay is actually the demonstrator on this DVD, which is freaking awesome. Magic Belay is a very amazing demonstrator, and he will teach you very cool methods on how to do these tricks in a modern way, in a modern version. It's really cool. He actually just recently did a video of himself on Facebook and so forth of this trick right here, actually, the ring on the string. So um, the ring on the shoelace, he actually just did this and this comes in this kit if you want to get it along with all the other props. So he teaches you how to do this trick on this DVD and he actually just performed this himself on his channel. So moving forward, uh, you get your linking rings. That's right, you get your four still linking rings to where you can just, I just uh, actually did a video of this right here not too long ago myself and to where you can melt and unlink and link rings. So you get your Chinese linking rings and so forth. And last but not least, also the, one of the last props that you get in this kit is your Bite and Restored Oreo where you can take mm, or who would buy the, and just restore it just like that. Your Bite and Restored Oreo trick. So that's really cool. You can go get like a, a little pack of real Oreos. Stick this Oreo, that's usually what I do in my kids just stick the Oreo in the package and then pull it out and then make it like reseal it, make it look really authentic and realistic. So all together, guys, for $30, this kit is very well worth it. I think this is one of Phantasma's best kits that they have, especially with Magic Ballet being the demonstrator on the DVD, it's well worth it. The uh, the the ring on the shoe sh uh, shoelace trick is a very very classic and cool trick. It's very popular. It's well worth having in this kit. Not a lot of kits have this. I mean the sponge balls, the magic bubbles. I mean the temple screen alone, the levitating dollar bill, a uh, hundred dollar bill. All this, the temple screen, all this that comes in this kit is so well worth it for thirty bucks. It may be cheaper now, but when I bought this kit, it was thirty bucks. So.